Are you tired of hunting around for that one brand photo that you need amidst all the chaos that you have with your photos? Well, you're not alone, my friend. I've been there. And it's more than just a minor inconvenience. It's a major bottleneck silently draining your productivity and your consistency. In this video, we are going to declutter and organize your photos and take back control of your time. We're gonna start right where you are most of the time in your work life, and that is starting with your trusty desktop or your laptop. So let's dive in. Step number one is to declutter. What we want to do in this step is we want to assess your photo inventory. Look into common places such as your downloads folder, where you store your digital photos, and any other place that you have been randomly saving photos to deal with later. As you're looking at your photos, you want to quickly identify any duplicates, any blurry photos, anything that is outdated and it isn't in line with your current brand. And if you notice your anxiety going up and you're just not quite ready to let it go, you could just put it into a folder and just archive it. Step number two is to delete and archive. Now you may have done a little bit of this in the first step, but what you want to do in this phase is be really ruthless. Like when you are clear about what your vision is and what your brand is and sort of where you're going in the next three to five years, look at what kind of content and what courses and programs or services are you providing right now? Look at your old profile photos. I know I deleted some of those. I'm just never going to use them. And if you don't want to delete them, I highly suggest that you archive them. The main reason you want to declutter and archive as many photos as you can is it just makes it so much more difficult and it wastes more time having to scroll through thousands and thousands of photos to find the two or the three photos that you want to use on your web page and your content that you're creating. We want to get really clear in this step on what is it that is aligned with our branding and with our marketing. And you can lump everything else into a big archive folder and date it the past years and you will be good to go. I can tell you, it, you will feel like there's this hundred pound weight that has been lifted off of your shoulder. Step number three is to organize with folders. So how do you want to retrieve something is the key question you want to ask yourself so you can find what it is that you need when you need it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you inside of my Google Drive and how I organize my photos. And it doesn't matter what kind of platform you're using, you can organize your folders. So we're inside of my Google Drive and I hope some of these folders will inspire you for what sort of main folders that you may need in your particular business. So what you want to do is you want to create structured folders with clear categories. So as you can see here, I have my team folder and my team doesn't have access to any of these. These are my client folder, I have accounting, these are my own files, personal, HR, legal, etc. And you can see that it's really easy for me to segregate when I want to share any of my shared folders with my team or a virtual assistant or an outside consultant that I'm working with. So let's take a look inside of my team folder that I've created and I'm sure it's gonna spark some ideas for you. So when you think about your business, you want to create main folders with broad categories and then inside of each category or folder you'll create multiple subfolders to break it down even one step further. So you can see here I've got all our blog and our free content. These are all our opt-ins, the freebies that we give away. This is all of our free content that we create both in our newsletter, our emails, anything that we do on social media. Then we have like education for team. It's just little things inside of there. I just want my team and I to have access to. We have our operations folder, photos for our content library. This is really big. And this is the one that I encourage you to create. And inside of here, 
what we have are all of our main categories based on how we want to retrieve this. And it wasn't like this from the beginning. Trust me, I have had to change this several times and I don't want you to have to waste that time like I did over a couple of decades. And so what I've done here is I've started creating things based on keywords like my team as an organizing business and time management. What I want to do is, okay, back to school is coming up or maybe we just want to talk about bathrooms and linen closets. I've got photos for that. It makes it so much easier. Bathrooms, I have videos on how to organize batteries, all the behind the scenes inside of my business. Uh, books, if you want to organize books. So you can see here how we have all of these and even like Google Keep, like I've done some YouTube videos and we have some trainings that we do inside of Google Keep. It's an app that I absolutely love and it works on all mobile devices. So make sure you go check out that video. But I do all these screenshots so I can repurpose the content and that is the goal of having a photos content library. So you can see here, I've got lots of categories inside of here. And if I were to share this folder with somebody new on my team or a consultant, it would be really easy for them to just go and find photos of Sherry or Sherry and Glenn or any of the before and after photos that I've taken. So that's how we've created our photos content library. That would be the subfolders. And there might be some sub subfolders inside of some of those based on the projects. Then what we have here is all our products and launches. I've got products that I use for all the spaces that I organize. So these are the actual products and where I get them from. Some of them are wholesalers, our sales and marketing. This is the big game changer. So I created a folder called Sherry to Sort and all of the photos that I just haven't had time to deal with and I took from my desktop, I took from external hard drives, I took from old laptop, like remember the first step was to declutter. I went to all of those places, USB sticks, I did it all and I've slowly been over time deleting and archiving and then anything that is sort of current and fresh, it goes into our photo content library. Everything else that I'm not quite ready to get rid of yet, is inside of this Sherry to sort. And then I can go there at any time, find something, either delete or move it into our content library. So that tip alone is going to save you hundreds of hours of stress and overwhelm that you don't need to go through because you think that you probably have to organize all your photos, but you really don't. So that's my solution for that. Then we have all our SOPs and templates that we use in our business and with our clients. Testimonials are always nice. Make sure it's made really easy to go and find them. And then all our tracking and stats and then our YouTube and socials. And again, those all break down inside of our YouTube. We do have a little bit of social in here, but this is mostly our B-roll and everything to do from our YouTube channel and then from there we take that and we repurpose the content, drop it up, mix it up and share it over all of our platforms. Having a folder structure like this is going to make it super easy to navigate and to find and retrieve what you need when you need it and then you'll stop wasting a ton of time. I dive deeper into this in our free photo organizing workshop and my bonus tip for you is backup for security. When you're taking photos on your phone, make sure that you have a system that automatically backs up your photos over Wi-Fi so that you don't have to think about it. So how I've automated backing up my photos is I use Google Photos. You can use other services, but that's my preference. Why is it important to back up your photos? You want to protect your valuable assets from loss and corruption. Trust me, I've been there. I had a major computer crash, lost everything from three months. I had two backups and both of them were corrupt. Lesson learned, that was the day that I changed all of my systems and I created a lot of more automation. We talk more in depth on this in the next video and I'll show you how I organize my digital photos for my brand using Google Photos. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.